Welcome to Esprit's latest tips and tricks video. This video will show feature manipulation inside of Esprit 2019. This will include adding sub-elements to the beginning and end of a feature, removing sub-elements in the middle of a feature with some shift propagation thrown in. To start, I will create all the features using turning features inside the feature accessories toolbar. This creates all the features I need to program this part. I click apply and select my solid inside the workspace. The first type of feature manipulation I'm going to show is the removal of sub-elements inside a feature. This can be useful when sections of the operation can be cut with undercutting enabled while some cannot. This is shown here with this OD contouring operation where the tool can reach the first groove but is unable to remove all the material from the second groove. I will start by making sure sub-elements and highlight mode are turned on. Sub-elements allows the user to select sub-elements inside the workspace, such as geometry, faces, and in this example, sub-elements inside a feature. Highlight mode allows the user to select to left and right click through sub-elements when multiple sub-elements exist near where the user clicked. To shift propagate the sub-elements inside the feature, I will start on one side. I left click to start and the first sub-element is a piece of geometry. After I right-click to cycle through sub-elements, the next sub-element shown is the feature I am trying to manipulate, followed by another right-click to the sub-element of the feature previously shown. I will confirm by left-clicking. Next, I will move to the other side of the feature, hold Control down and left-click. Again, after a right-click to cycle through sub-elements, the first sub-element is geometry, followed by the feature, then the sub-element of the feature just shown. I'll left-click to confirm my selection while making sure to hold Control down. Finally, I will hold Control and Shift down and select any sub-element in between using the same method. This shift propagates between the two ends. I hit Delete, thus creating a bridge between the two ends of the groove. Rebuilding updates the operation. Another type of feature manipulation is extending the end of a feature. In this example, we will use the Move Back tool as it can replace sub-elements and extend them to the end of a part. This can also be done inside the operation on the Strategy tab using End Extension. However, the Move Back tool allows the user to extend the feature in more than one direction. Start by creating a point at the intersection of the back of the part and the OD of the part as an endpoint for the new sub-element. Next, select Manual Chain followed by the feature to be manipulated. When using Manual Chain on an existing chain, it allows the user to reopen that chain and make edits to the end of it. Now, select the Move Back icon and the sub-element to be removed. This moves the endpoint of the feature to the beginning of the sub-element selected. Using Move Back in this example isn't necessary, but it will decrease the number of sub-elements in the feature. After selecting the point and cycle stop, the old, shorter element has been replaced with a sub-element that extends to the end of the, of the part. Rebuilding an operation updates the toolpath. The final type of feature manipulation in this video is adding sub-elements to chains. This can be shown by adding a facing type sub-element to the beginning of the OD feature. Start by reversing the chain as sub-elements of a feature can be added to the end of a chain. Next, select Manual Chain and the feature you'd like to extend. Select the center of the part and hit Cycle Stop. Don't forget to reverse the chain back, to the tool, back so the toolpath moves in the correct direction. Now I will add an X offset, which adds a feed move to the beginning of the operation that then trans transitions directly into the OD part. If I right click on the dialog box, I can open the edit properties window. Here, I can add logic, which will calculate the correct offset by pulling information from a spree such as bar diameter. Playing simulation shows a facing operation leading directly into an OD contour. And that's this tips and tricks video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter for more videos and upcoming events with Esprit.